Hello everyone, my name is Polly and welcome to another day of isolation. Now, just because we are in isolation, it doesn't mean that we can't get outside and enjoy the natural things in life. So today what I'm going to be doing is teaching you how to turn four of these tin cans, which I'm sure everyone has a lot of um, at the moment, into one of these, your very own bug house. Nice and simple, nice and fun. So here we go. Here's what you'll need to make your bug house. Now, when you have the tin cans, do just make sure that the edges are not sharp. So I will take my first tin can that I'm going to decorate and I'll decide how I'm going to decorate it. Now for this one I've chosen to do it like a ladybird which means I will need black and red. So I'll take my paintbrush once I've got all my paint ready dip it in that red and cover the entire tin can with that red. Now I'm just doing the red at the moment because once it's completely covered in that red paint is when I'll put it aside to dry before carrying on. So just make sure that you've done the whole tin can red before you put it down to dry. So now I'm happy that that's fully coated, I can start with my black dots. You can see that I've done a few here, but just to make them, all you need to do is take your black paint and do a circular dot with it. And do this several times round the can so that it really looks like a lovely little dotty lady dot. Now I've done lots of different patterns with my cans. I've also got a nice little bumblebee with yellow and black stripes alongside my ladybird. And I've got white with some patterns, but I've also done just some tape as well. I've wrapped some nice pattern tape around one of my tins. So while they're drying, what you'll need to do is get everything ready for inside the cans. Now I've found all of this just out on a walk, out and about around my house. Now I'll start with the hay that I found. Now you need to prepare this, so just start breaking it in half so that it fits nicely inside the can. And I had some old magazines lying around which the bees will absolutely love. So I'm just rolling them up using a pencil, getting them nice and tight little rolls, putting them all together, bunching them up and tying them up with a piece of string so that they stay nice and clustered. So now I have everything ready for my bug house, I can start putting it inside my tins. So one by one you can choose which tin you want for which things that you've collected. So there I've got some dried grass and some bark that I found on the ground. And I'm just slotting it in so all the creepy crawlies can get inside all those tiny nooks and crannies. Then in my next can, what I'm gonna do is put some pine cones in it. Now pine cones are great because they're really abundant at the moment and bugs absolutely love them. So just fill them right up in the can. Do the same again, but this time with hay. 
Now you can do as much or as little hair as you want, but if you can find some, then it is fantastic. Just anything really that bugs will find really tactile to get in and make their home. Next I'll get to my magazines, popping them in the top and then any twigs and sticks at the bottom as the bees absolutely love these round holes. And there we have it. All four cans are now complete, so you just need to tie them together. So you put a piece of string around the top, tie it up, round the bottom, tie it again, round the top, and do a double knot so that they keep nice and tight all together as a four. Once you've done this, you just need to cut off any excess string. And there we are. Well done, your very own bug house. So we'll have some bees enjoying the little nest down here. We'll have lots of ants and crawly creepies crawling in and making homes out of all these different pockets. So well done for doing that. Find some nice place in your garden to pop it up and make them crawl in. Well done everyone and do join me again for another crafty session.